hello guys welcome back to my channel this is Mary and your girl and I am super excited to be here again if you're new here you're welcome if you're my subscriber I really do appreciate you so let's move right into the topic of today things that could actually put you Nigerian man off on knowing to you I actually experimented. I carried out a little bit of an experiment with them, some few Nigerian men, and I asked them these questions, and I got similar answers. So I kind of picked some answers that are actually almost the same, and then I'm trying now to present it to you. This was actually the things they mentioned. They do put them off on knowing to their ladies. But just because it's not something so serious, they never really bother to tell the ladies. But these were the things they told me in secret were things that actually do put them off the women. You will not believe the things they listed. So let's go right into number one. Long nails. They said they actually do hate long nails. That you know, you know, they said they don't like it when their women fix like long nails. Like they cannot actually, they don't understand why women actually do have to fix long nails. That it doesn't look womanly. It actually looks a little bit like, you know, <laughs> they actually look like Dracula kind of. <laughs> So like they don't really like it it looks more animalistic than you know womanly that you don't like it they prefer you to have your own natural nails it's fine if you feel like painting your nails is fine let it be on your natural nails and even if you have to go the extra miles to look good and you really want to fix a nail you fix something closer to your nail just something a little bit you fix something that is just almost the same as your nail. Maybe a little bit longer, but not that long. You know that kind of long? You know, when the hands are like that and you cannot do anything. And you know, you know, you know we Nigerians, Nigerian men, they like you to do things around the house. They want you to do the cooking. They, and you have to do lots. Nigerians, of course. We do lots of cooking. You have to chop the vegetables, you have to chop this, chop that. How will you chop that with that nail, they said? Those nails cannot let you do anything around the house. So it doesn't look homely, it doesn't look womanly, they just don't like it. And they don't get why women have to put those things on. This was what they said to me first. They said, long nails. So next time you go out for fixing your nail, remember you don't like it so long nails no no for them number two that they mentioned to me was something they really do not like at all lashes fake lashes they just don't get why women have to put lashes especially the long lashes they said it's actually it actually confuses them like you you're talking to your man and he's just staring at you and while you're talking he's just looking at you instead of listening to what you're saying he's just looking at the movements of your lashes because they said it's just so weird that they cannot understand and when they said this believe you me when they said this oh my goodness i remember poor me my experience my experience is just one story i have to tell so Back in Nigeria, I had just finished. I had just finished school. I was serving, so I was serving in a different state, and my 
boyfriend was in a different state so uh, we had not seen ourselves for a long time and I decided we decided to see so I was to travel from the state where I was serving to the place where he lives so I was to travel from Makadi to Abuja in the spirit of someone who has not seen her boyfriend for a long time and I was going to see him so I did all I could and I painted my nails I fixed some lashes just for a new look a fresh new look and I felt like I was good to go so I decided to go on my journey to Abuja I got to Abuja and I met my guy I was so happy to see him he was so happy to see me as we sat down to talk as we were talking he was just staring at me he was just staring at me and I was like what what happened with all this <laughs> Oh God. With all my excitement, I was like, oh, what? Come on, baby, what happened? And he was like, What's that? What's that you have on your face? I was like, What? What was that? What's that thing you have on your eyes? I was like, What? My lashes? Did you like it? It's how it's cute, right? It's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? He was like, Do you know how you look with that? I was like, what? Do you know? Do you really know how you look with that? You don't look good at all. Did you look at yourself in the mirror? I was like, what? My friends told me that I looked fly. My friends told me that I looked good in this. How come you're saying I don't look good? He said, my dear, you don't. It's just so bad. You actually look like this wayward girls. You just look like, you know, something on the street. I was like, what? I immediately went off from where he was. I went straight into the bathroom and I pulled all those lashes off. With anger, I pulled them off. So when I came back, I was expecting an apology from him. You know? But just guess what I saw? Guess what I met? A very, you know, sheepish smile. Sheepish smile. He was like, Wow, see? See how you look? That's the person I know. That's my baby. I was just, I was, I had mixed feelings. I was angry. He was funny. At the same time, I was about to laugh. I didn't know what to do, but I learned a lesson that day. I never, ever again fix lashes. So that's my own experience. What's your experience if you're dating a Nigerian man? The next time you go getting your eyelashes fixed, remember who you're going to meet a Nigerian man. Actually, less is more. Less is more. So, something else they said is just so annoying. They said to them, wearing padded bras. They do not like it when women wear padded bras. They said to me, They said, Why do you have to wear padded bras? Why do we have to wear padded bras? Look, they said to me, Men are different. Men have different preferences when it comes to those girls, you know, when it comes to the she's. So they were like, why do you have to wear padded bra? When they mean padded bra, they said, you wear a very big padded bra that when you wear these things and it all goes up and big. And then when they get there, maybe finally when they get there, the she is not what the she looks like from outside that it really really pains them that it's really deceptive it's not a bad thing that a lady has a grape a lime a lemon an orange or oh, grapefruit size of cheese but the thing is you need to guide them accordingly they need you to guide them accordingly. Do not deceive me. If you have an orange, let an orange be an orange. If you have a grape, let your grape be grape. If you have a lime or a lemon, 
let him know because what about if he likes a grapefruit and you have a lemon and what about if he likes a lime but you have a grape so it's like it's so deceptive that we should stop doing that so with this padded brass you don't really you don't really let them know which is which so they are begging you to please do not deceive them it is okay to wear a little bit of foamy bra which is what almost every woman wears but you know those padded bras that are like half foam in there no no they said to me they don't like it it's so deceptive <laughs> so that's number three something else has said to me oh my god <laughs> they do not like it when you put on too much foundation when we put on too much foundation what the hell only trying to look good for them ain't we we're trying to look good only trying to look fly but they said they don't like it that it is good makeup is fine makeup is fine they said but they want it they just want it mild and simple they do not want this you know this face that actually changes from your face they want you to look like who you are they want your face to be the face that they actually know not after making up you turn from Miriam to something else they want Miriam to be Miriam an enhanced Miriam you understand you have to be an enhanced, enhanced version of yourself that's all and finally what puts them off is hairs you know you know how we roll you know how we roll the Brazilian hair the Peruvian hair the Chinese hairs they don't like it they love natural when I mean natural braids are natural they said braids Ghana braids Ghana weaving you know just uh, the bulb like we know it like something like this they like they don't mind but they do not they do not like hairs that it just looks weird but if it's your own natural hair they don't mind it that it's so nice actually so these are the things that I actually collected from some few men around I asked them and they gave me these things just to present to you these things they say actually put them off their women but the truth is they said they never really tell their women because they know that their women actually took out time to do those things to look good they took out time to, to, to put themselves together to look good but the thing is you don't get why a woman actually has to go that far but the only thing they do not like and do mention to the lady the worst of all is that of the long nails they cannot stand it even though the ladies do these things they never really tell them because they don't want them to feel so bad it takes a good man who loves you so much to be able to tell you baby see i actually do not like these things but the thing is sometimes if you like you 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 took out your time to try to put yourself together just for them so they don't want you to feel so bad so this is the reason they do not really tell you that they don't like these things but they told me these things in private that they do not like these things so this is all i have for you today and during men and things they do not fancy in their women spoken out loud to you for your graphs so and if you like what this channel is all about do not forget in my usual manner stop click it oh yes you did thank you thanks for watching guys if you really like this channel like what this channel is all about do not forget to give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel until i come over again i say to you bye bye love you guys bye